Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. This is for the 13th of July. It's two games on the slate. Uh, Liberty at Sky, one o'clock game. And then we got Sparks at the Wings, uh, 3 three three thirty, I think it is. Uh, Liberty opened up minus 7.5. They just played two days ago. Uh, Liberty won. That line moved down to minus 5.5. Over on the 166 and a half. That went down a little bit too. And uh, Liberty's the favorite. Started at minus 325. It also went down a little bit to 65. Best you can find it at. I think all that happened is because they're both playing the third game in four days. Uh, yesterday they played in um, two days ago. From when you see this video, they, they played in New York and Today, they're going to be playing in Chicago, so they had some travel in there, too. But uh, 3.30 game, Sparks opened up at plus 2.5 as the underdog moved up to 3.5. Over on the 166.5, and shot up to 171.5. And, and uh, Sparks is down the dog at plus 124. Get them highest 155 right now. Uh, should both be close games, so hopefully no blowout potential. And uh, got a few player prompts to get into them. All right. Uh, it's really Friday night, Saturday morning, about 3 o'clock. Some lines are out. Some aren't. Uh, got early games tomorrow, so I wanted to get this out there. But uh, so I got a few normal lines. I usually play for these teams. So um, might run through it kind of quick. Uh, sorry for the tired voice and not much energy, but uh, doing the best I can. Uh, Sabrina Eisenhuk assists as long as they keep it in that six and a half. And Vandersloot was playing. I'm shooting on the. We've been cashing in for a couple of days. Uh, Sent six and a half. It opened at five and a half. And then it jumped back up to six and a half. So uh, you can find it on DraftKings right now. Heavily favored towards the under, as it should be. Uh, she came close to her last game, but she still didn't go over it. I'm going to continue to play it. Uh, Sabrina Eisenhower has cashed it again. On the six and a half assists. All right, next up, I'm going uh, Marina Marbury assist over four and a half. If this line ends up dropping to three and a half, minus 140, 150, I would take it. Uh, in the last five games, she's been going over it. I've been playing three and a half, she's been killing it. Uh, if you've been watching, you see what I said last time about the four and a half. It was at plus money. You could take it if you wanted. I was taking three and a half. They're not offering the three and a half. Uh, like I said, they just played on the 11th. She got six. Uh, she's been feeding uh, Reese and stuff on the inside. She's been passing the ball pretty good. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, they are playing, like I said, both teams, third game in four days, traveling between. So they might be missing some shots, but uh, I hope she goes over it. You know, sometimes making these videos does me a disservice, which I guess means I'm doing you a disservice because it's not a lot of lines out right now. They don't have a lot of points lines and things like that. Um, if I see anything else that I like, I'm going to put it in the pinned comments. 
or any alterations, uh, just make sure you subscribe so you get them in the community. But uh, we've been cashing at three and a half, and she's been hitting seven, six, five, six. We've been playing her all these days, so hopefully she keeps it up. And we get to go over it. Marina Marbury, sis, four and a half. All right, these are for a uh, 3.30 game, Los Angeles at Dallas. Uh, we're going to the, the, the beast, the lady that she is, Derricka Hamby. Uh, points over 18 and a half on DraftKings. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Fandu got it at 19 and a half right now. So always make sure to line shop, line shop, different books. Probably get tired of hearing me say that, but it's a key way to continue winning. Uh, beating the starting line, as well as using alt lines, things of that nature. But uh, she had 18 points last game versus Minnesota. It was a blowout. Everybody was off. Uh, she's easily capable of going over that. It's just a bad game. If I break it down for the year, yeah, it looks pretty shitty, right? Now that I look at it, <laughs> uh, Hamby has exceeded 18 and a half points in four of the last five games versus the bottom five defense, averaging 23 points. So. That helps us out right there. But uh, she's one of the, the main ball scorers. Give her that ball on the inside. She's scoring. She's uh, finessed her three-point shot. She's able to hit them. And uh, it's crunch time. The season's they're on that verge of not being able to make the playoffs. But if they go on a winning streak, they can. So she's out there really trying. Uh, good player. She's shooting 52% from the field, 42% from three. She could be better at a foul shot, shooting 63%. And uh, Dallas is 12th in points allowed, so that's last place. To the forward position, still 12th. So they allow a lot of points, and uh, Hamby against a weak team, it's not going to be. There's not going to be a match. She'll take care of that. So we got Hamby, eighteen and a half. Like I said, they have it out there right now, nineteen and a half. If you can find it lower, definitely take it. Points over eleven and a half. Been playing her. We played her all these games over here, and we played her last game, and she missed it. She had an off game, you could tell. She shot, uh, got a decent coach too, and they're not playing well, they're subbing someone else and try to make it work. But uh, shot three for eight, 38%. But it wasn't just that, she had a lot of fouls. She was just caused like, things weren't working. But, uh, I got faith in her. Dallas allows a lot of points. Uh, also, for Los Angeles, there's um, the center is going to be out. She's uh, in the Chinese Olympics. The Chinese Olympics. She plays basketball for the Chinese basketball Olympic team. So she already left. She so handy. Um, and someone else, they're going to be, maybe it's more of a forward, but she can play center, so they're going to be, like, moving them around, which is going to lead for more time for other players. Uh, they already got an injured roster, so her minutes are going to go up regardless, and she really can play. I think she's in her second year. Could be a rookie year. I could be wrong. I think it's her second year. Uh, four out of the last five, she cleared this. I mean, this day she doubled it. Uh, I expected to have a bounce back. 
Bounce it back like a basketball. Rakia Jackson shooting 42% these last five days from the uh, field. 43% from uh, three-point. Averaging about two a game she makes. And uh, 60% just about from the foul line. She, she's one of them players who can put her head down and just get to the rim. She can shoot that jumper mid-range. Uh, give her another shot. If she don't hit it today, and then start fading her. Kia Jackson points. Next up, Ari McDonald assists over four and a half. Mine is 120. DraftKings. Uh, Dallas is 12th. It's last place and assists allowed to the guard position. They stay at 12th. Uh, 60% hit rate for the last 10 games. She did miss this last game, but like I said, Los Angeles had an off game. I mean, it ain't a great team as it is, but they just had a bad game. Uh, 67 points. They weren't scoring, so obviously people weren't getting assists. Uh, the last time that Los Angeles played Dallas... She had uh, six assists versus them. Uh, they're coming off two days rest. So I think that should help them. And coming off that loss, I think that should uh, help them get back into the groove of things. But yeah, I like to stuck out to me. She's been uh, she's a veteran. She was injured and she came back a couple games ago. She got back in a groove. Also played her points. I got her points line at twelve and a half, but they also have it at eleven and a half. So always make sure you look around. You want to always get the better number. She hit this three out of five. She had a bad two games. I feel like it's going to be a bounce back game. Her minutes were way down those two games. Uh, little tidbit, she's exceeded 11 and a half points in six of her seven last games on the road. Averaging 13. She's capable of scoring. See this 23-17. Um... They had a bad game, like I said. You know, the coach was laying into that, and they all feel like shit for having a bad game. And they got a team to bounce back pretty easy against being Dallas. Uh, points allowed, ranked 12th, ranked 11th at a guard position. I'm not going to say it's going to be easy pickings, but, you know, they are professional players, and to take pride in their work. So it's time for a bounce back game. All right, McDonald's, I got her on her assists, and I got her on points over 11 and a half. So you get my live bets, my plays, my bet slips, any info that I need to get out there, uh, share in the community, try to be as transparent as possible. Uh, just trying to commit that sportsbook robbery, trying to help you win more, or at least lose less. But uh, if you could also leave a comment, likes and comments, help get the videos out there, help more people to see them, more people see them, need some more subscriptions. I've been doing this for about three months now, just reached over 150. Uh, don't know if that's good. I feel like it's good. People are cashing, getting more views. So I appreciate everyone. People who do like and comment, thank you. Uh, really, it really does matter to me. And uh, let's keep it moving. Last but not least, found this gem, and I noticed other people started playing it, but uh, I feel like we were playing it first. That's not the point. Uh, Odyssey Sims points. It's up to 14 and a half now. We started playing it at 10, 9 and a half, 10. We, we cashed it all these days. Uh, I still think it's still good at 14 and a half. She's a baller. She uh, moved into the starting lineup like two weeks ago, roughly. Um, 
playing Dallas, they allow points. Uh, excuse me, because she's playing Los Angeles, they allow points, the tenths and points allowed, ninth to the guard position. Uh, she's a beast, man. She really is. She puts her head down. She can she can shoot the three. She can drive. She she rebounds. She's a, she assists. If you do a uh, what do they call that stuff? Fantasy sports, fantasy points. I bet you she's killing it on that because she does everything. She steals. Don't really get blocks, but she does all that. Uh, maybe stat wise, since his number bumped up and stuff, it may not look too good. And since her minutes were so low for so long. But uh, as you see, she was trending up. Bing, 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 bing. And now she just unleashed the fury. Uh, I'm going to play it until she misses. That's what I do. I just keep running. It's like being hot in blackjack. Just keep going. So they miss, I'm going to keep running with it. Uh, I realize with WNBA, it's, it's just like basketball and just like sports betting. It's just up and down, emotion roller coaster. One player does one thing one day. Scoring 25 points the next day, they shoot the ball three times. So, a lot of it is I do go off data and analytics, but a lot of it's just for me watching the games and, and the vibes I feel and what I'm thinking. Uh, it's been working out pretty well. I had a little rough patch, but you know, that's that's normal for sports betting. Uh, wins or losses, it's the same thing. You got to act like it's the same thing. Can't be tilting, can't be chasing your losses and going crazy. You just got to move on to the next day, win, lose, or draw. But, uh, yeah, so Sims, 14 and a half. Like I said, I got bumped up. I think she can still go over it. She's not playing a great defensive team. She's shooting 53% from the field, 53% uh, from three points, and 66% from the foul line. So I'm a rocket to the wheels fall off. Uh, appreciate everyone. Let's have another good day. Uh, <clears throat> Ace money the name, getting paper to game. Let's go. Like, comment, subscribe.